Okay, in this example, we are given that sine of alpha is going to be 0 0.295 and cosine of beta is 0 0.725. And what we want to do is fill into our uh, addition and subtraction formulas, the sum and difference formulas for cosine. So when students look at this, I know that it gets a little bit confusing seeing these decimals over on the right hand side. We'll walk you through exactly how to deal with those in just a second. Um, I've gone ahead and written out the formulas for our, our sum formula and our difference formula for cosine down here at the bottom. As you can see, we can fill in a little bit of this information, sine of alpha and cosine of beta can each be filled in, but we don't know cosine of alpha and sine of beta. So to get those, what I want to do is draw two separate triangles. So as we draw these triangles, they can be right triangles because we're given sine and we're given cosine. So that's kind of nice. I'm just going to draw two separate triangles here. One, sorry, one for our alpha. And it's going to be a right triangle here. And then a separate one going on over here for beta. Now we have no information telling us that alpha and beta are two parts of the exact same triangle. So just kind of sketching them in here as two separate triangles. We know alpha is gonna be on one, beta is gonna be on the other. Don't put these in the same triangle because we really don't know that they're in the same triangle. The next thing is we're trying to label the sides of our triangle. We wanna be thinking about Sokotoa. So Sokotoa to help us label the sides of our triangle. So when I see sine of alpha is 0 0.295, I can visualize that as being a ratio and put it over one. So for sine, sine is gonna be opposite over hypotenuse. So in labeling our left triangle with alpha, I'm gonna put the opposite side as 0 0.295 and the hypotenuse is gonna be one. Similarly, over here for cosine of beta equaling 0 0.295, 725. I'm going to think of that as being over one. Cosine is going to be adjacent 0 0.725 over hypotenuse one. All right. And now in order to get the cosine of alpha and the sine of beta, I'm going to have to find the additional side length that is unknown right now in each one of these triangles. To do so, I'm going to use the Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Now on the first triangle, I'm going to label this with A at the bottom, the uh, adjacent side, although we could have just as easily used B for this triangle. And these will be two separate triangles, so, so two completely separate um, calculations. So as we fill in here, I can say A squared plus B in this situation is going to be that 0 0.295 squared is equal to the hypotenuse squared. So our hypotenuse is one, we're gonna square it, and this is looking at the left triangle. In order to try to isolate A, I'm gonna first go ahead and move the 0 0.295 squared to the other side. I'm gonna subtract that to move it over to the right-hand side. So we have one squared, which is one, minus 0 0.295 squared. To get A completely by itself, we can apply a square root to both sides. And I'm only worrying about the positive case in this situation um, because it is a side length for a triangle. So we can say that A is going to be approximately 0 0.955497. And that's going right here for this value, the adjacent side length on this triangle. So with this triangle, we can now calculate cosine of alpha is gonna be our adjacent side length, 0 0.955497, and I'm keeping a bunch of decimal places there, over the hypotenuse, which is one. So this all reduces down just to be 0 0.955497. We're gonna do a similar process over here on this right triangle, completely separate though, remember. I'm gonna call this B on this triangle. And again, going back to the Pythagorean theorem, I can say a squared, 0 0.725 quantity squared plus b squared is going to equal our hypotenuse c squared. All right, similar solving down here, I'm going to move the 0 
725 squared to the other side. So we have one minus 0 0.725 quantity squared. We're gonna apply a square root to both sides. That'll give us B is going to be a, approximately 0 0.688749. And yes, the calculator is helping out on this. That value is gonna go over here for our B, All right? So we know cosine of beta, let's find sine of beta. So sine of beta would be given by, based on SOHCAHTOA, sine is gonna be opposite over hypotenuse. So B, 0 0.688749 over the hypotenuse, which is one, which is again, because it's over one, just gonna simplify down to be that numerator. All right, now we have all the information we need to fill into our sum and difference formulas. So down here in our sum formula, we can say cosine of alpha, which we found up here was 0 0.955497, multiplied by cosine of beta. Well, cosine of beta was one of the given pieces of information from the beginning, so we can fill in 0 0.725, minus sine of alpha. That was one of those given pieces of information from the very beginning. So filling in that decimal that was given at the beginning, multiplied by the sine of beta. Well, we did the computation over on the right-hand side to compute that was 0 0.688749. And after a little bit of reducing down, getting the calculator out, helping us out, Maybe I'll say this is approximately 0 0.4955, All right? Next for the difference, it's gonna be a very, very similar computation here. We fill in cosine of alpha. Well, cosine of alpha was 0 0.955497 multiplied by cosine of beta, 0 0.725, plus sine of alpha. Sine of alpha was 0 0.295 multiplied by sine of beta, 0 0.688749, just plugging in there. And that's, again, get the calculator out, get a nice approximation going here. That is going to work out to be approximately 0 0.8959. All right, so I know students get a little bit thrown off when you have just a decimal without a, a fraction over on the right-hand side. Just make it into a fraction so you can use SOHCAHTOA. Draw two separate triangles. Do a little bit of work with the Pythagorean theorem uh, to work out the, the missing side length. And then back to SOHCAHTOA to represent sine of uh, beta and cosine of alpha. Hope this helps out. Good luck as you're working through these.